Hey Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for Cancer Summarizing Venus. We'll be we taking a look into the week ahead to see what messages need to come through for you guys. Get some insight with some guidance and overall see what's going on for Cancer Summarizing Venus for the next seven days. What do my Cancerians need to know? Any insight with some guidance for Cancer Summarizing Venus for the next seven days? What are the messages for my Cancerians? Okay, we got Imrama, which is where are you being called to journey to? Okay, so that's a little question. Question of the week, where are you being called to journey to? And then we have dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Okay, so this week is all about changing your energy. And at the bottom it says align with your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? So that's something to keep in mind for the week ahead. Where am I putting this? Okay, I'm going to set that here. So for the week ahead, you guys are really needing to do something that changes your energy. Do something that you haven't done in a long time or picking up a new skill, a new hobby, learning something new or really like pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, whether that is like physically putting yourself out of your comfort zone, waking up at a different time, physically like getting into a new exercise routine, singing, like maybe you are afraid of singing, <laughs> uh, or like, you know, do something that you haven't done before or do something that you haven't done in a long time to change up your energy. So if things have been a little bit boring, a little bit stagnant, or you're wanting a change or wanting to see some different results, maybe you're not quite satisfied with the results that you've been receiving, the results that you've been reaping, something here needs to change. And this is the perfect week to do so, okay? It's a very beautiful energy. Dance with Life came out for... It may have been Taurus or Gemini, I can't remember, but it came out yesterday. So you may have one of those placements in there in your chart. Um, but yeah, this is a really beautiful energy. It's really just about free flowing and dancing with life. You know, there's lots of movement. There's lots of moving pieces going on in your life day to day. So it's going to be interesting to see what the messages are that comes out. But yeah, so really sit down and ask yourself, like, what are you being drawn to go towards? What is it that you're being called to do, to pursue, to try, to whatever? Like, really pay attention to that, Cancer, and take that action this week. Do something to change your energy. This is your sign to go for it. Uh, I feel like it's going to work out in your favor messages for cancer summarizing venus for the week ahead any insight wisdom guidance for cancer summarizing venus for the next seven days what do my cancerians need to know any insight wisdom guidance show me clearly what are the messages for cancer for the week ahead any messages please for cancer summarizing venus for this upcoming week messages for cancer we have the crocodile and the scorpion oh okay uh i want to get one more for cancer someone nice and venus that that's that's a stack eagle trying to show up so there could be some significant significant <laughs> if i can speak some significant things happening this week uh all right okay okay we got the camel and the zebra the camel came out for scorpio and it made a bit might may have been aries Aries or Taurus. Doesn't matter. Uh, we have the Scorpion coming out here as well. So that could be Scorpio energy. You could have Scorpio in your chart or dealing with a Scorpio. Um, so we have water, fire. That's it. Water and fire. Okay. So first off, we have the crocodile. And this is the energy of you guys really need to just kind of sit down, wait, recalibrate, get back your energy, get back your strength, um, take time out to nurture yourself, to cleanse yourself um, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Like you guys are needing um, just a moment to really cleanse your space. Yeah. Do some dusting, do some cleaning, do some vacuuming, wipe some shit down. All right. Maybe throw some things out. You know, do a little bit of that energy this week, okay? Make that a priority. I don't care if it's even just for like 20 minutes, just straighten things up, Cancer, okay? A, can a Cancer needs a cozy home. A cozy, clean home makes a Cancerian happy, <laughs> especially because you guys are the rulers of the fourth house, right? And that rules like the home and family and all that. So definitely that's something to keep in mind for the week ahead, something that you need to do that will be beneficial for you, okay? It's like, you know, a tidy place, a clean mind, like you can think straight i don't know about you but i cannot think in clutter when everything is cluttered around me i feel so overwhelmed i feel so lost i feel so fuzzy in my head so 
if you're like me, yeah, definitely take the opportunity this week to do some cleaning, okay? As well as letting yourself rest. This is also the energy of going out in nature or going out by water, the element of water, or even taking like a salt bath or going out in the rain, letting water cleanse you, okay? There are certain meditations you can do or intentions that you set, even if you're like in the shower, just like energetically imagining like you are being cleansed like you know things like that i feel like you guys are in need of like really cleansing everything like fuck shampoo your carpets if you got that opportunity if you can (laughs) get those ugly ass stains out of your carpet this week (laughs) if you can if you got the time for it because i know that can be a pain in the ass um you know that just came to mind it's like just deep cleaning i feel like it was gonna be really really nice for you okay so maybe make that a bit of a priority if not already um then we have the scorpion so there is something that has you a bit ticked off cancer your crabby cancer um pinchers are out someone's pissed you off something has you irritated maybe you're just feeling moody maybe you're just feeling a little bit irritable or a little bit more sensitive but there could actually be a situation going on that you're trying your best to keep your cool with the camel the camel is the energy of maintaining your balance kind of like temperancy energy um and i love that we have the moon in this car but yeah it really does remind me uh, for some reason it reminds me of sag um trying to keep your cool trying to maintain your balance and patience patience is so necessary so if you have been dealing with like a situation that's been getting on your nerves cancer or you're dealing with someone who's been getting on your nerves or really testing your patience i think some solo time would benefit you (laughs) this week just some time alone to just sit think and process whatever the hell just went down or is going down um yeah definitely needing some time to yourself you're needing um freedom you're needing space space to grow space to expand um and it's almost like you maybe are finding yourself in this this place or this relationship or in this environment where you feel like confined or you feel smothered in a way that's the energy i'm feeling like it's just like closed tight in tight spaces um and i really feel like you need some space all right maybe go outside go get some fresh air go for a walk especially if it's getting nice out wherever you are um if the weather is warming up if you live near you know if it's winter for you definitely get some fresh air breathe in that fresh ass air right um i can't wait i literally fucking cannot wait because it's been so cold these last few months i am ready for spring i don't know about you guys i'm so fucking ready for it um so yeah that's like the energy that i'm seeing here for the week ahead your intuition's on point so definitely pay attention to that your third eye is being highlighted here in the zebra zebra is also a very creative energy so this week you may get a lot of inspiration to start new projects or to change your fucking life around make life changes that will affect even like your day-to-day routines maybe you're making adjustments regarding that um whatever it is like i said whatever it is that you're being called a journey towards this is going to be a very favorable time for you cancer okay i like the energy so far let's pull some tarot messages let's see what else is going on for the week ahead but i like the vibes i really do um let me put this to the side all right excuse me messages for cancer summarizing venus for the week ahead what do my cancerians need to know any insight wisdom guidance for cancer summarizing venus for the next seven days what's going on for my cancerians this week any messages for cancer summarizing venus for this week ahead what's going on what do they need to know for cancer summarizing venus for this next week messages for cancer okay nope that's a staff but we do have the chariot um backside coming up something you could be leaving behind but that's too many so we're not going to take that but messages for cancer summarizing venus we got the queen of pentacles reverse along with the eight of pentacles um messages for cancer nine of swords reverse along with the five of pentacles oh you're working on a way out of a situation where you've been feeling very yeah like i said you've been feeling very confined you've been feeling very stuck smothered even in just like your circumstances financially emotionally i'm definitely picking up financially you've been for for a group of you um finances have been really really tight you know you've been pinching pennies pinching pennies holding on to every last cent you got 
weeks has been, you know, it's, it's been fucking crazy these last few years. And then gas prices and all that, it's insane. So, um, bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess Reverse, along with the Three of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and Judgment, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Do, oh, underneath the Ace of Swords, you have the Three of Swords backside. It looks like... It looks like you're getting clarity on a situation, Cancer, for sure. Especially, and let me just set this here. Especially with the High Priestess coming out reversed or the backside of the High Priestess, you may have gotten some sort of truth or clarity on a situation. And now it's like it's setting you free or like you're looking back at a situation something that has hurt you whether recently um or something that's happening this week or this could be talking about something that's happened like a while back here with judgment coming up but i'm seeing that like there was a major lesson learned from some sort of experience and the way that you're looking back at this like you're able to see it for what it really is you're able to see the lessons you're able it doesn't it's not so painful anymore and there's some sort of clarity or you no longer feel stuck on this or you no longer feel trapped in a situation there's a way out of a situation where you've been really feeling like like i said you've been feeling stuck and confined you've been feeling you know insecure feeling worried feeling stressed feeling anxious and this can even be if this again like let's go back to the finances because i'm picking up on that finances money feeling like you never have enough feeling like there's lack feeling you know there's like you may have been maybe you're becoming aware of a cycle that you found yourself in but not only you but even generations when we look at this eight of pentacles backside uh we see that there's like this there's this grown man and a little boy and so it's like you could have the way you viewed your parental figures growing up especially if we're, if we're talking about money this can apply to you know relationships and all that but let's just talk about money for a minute the relationship your your parents had with money right whether someone was just like a fucking shopaholic they would splurge all their money or they were very bad with money or they would hold on to money or they were greedy with money or like you know shit like that <laughs> the way that you grew up with those things um you may notice the pattern of how you and your relationship is with those th you know the way that you grew up the way that you grew up and the way you watched um that kind of relationship has affected you in your relationships with you know like i said money or if we're talking about re like full-on relationships with connections with people but again i'm picking up this is a specific message in just like this little section money something about money something about your mindset your money mindset <laughs> money mindset is changing okay um so maybe i almost want to say with uh dance with dance with life do something to change your energy and where are you being called a journey to some of you could be taking some sort of risk or a gamble or almost like you're investing in something that maybe you have been thinking about doing for a while and you're being called to make that investment or to make that purchase like maybe some of you for example you're talking about moving homes right or buying and putting a down payment on a car or like i don't know something like that um this could be the week where you decide like fuck it i'm going to invest in this thing or i'm going to take this risk and then when you do it like your whole mindset on that is changing okay so that's like one kind of scenario i'm seeing here how else can i read this if you've been feeling stuck in a situation or like you've been okay whatever it is that you've been feeling stuck in cancer where you felt like there was no way out feeling trapped feeling like you know loss of hope basically you have been working on a plan you've been working you've been dedicated you've been putting in that effort eight of pentacles that dedication um and it shows and you're seeing a way out of this you're finally seeing a way out of this right it's taking you baby steps this has been probably something that has been in the works or in the progress for some time now okay we have the three of wands to the ten of cups backside i see this card in this deck so close but yet so far away right that's how it's felt that's how it's felt um so close you can almost taste it it's just around the corner right and you felt that at, you felt that for a while now or for a long time for some of you when is it coming i want this I, I i'm working towards it i deserve this it's the divine right that i have this insert what it is 
but yet something something was holding you back or something was getting in the way or there was a cycle or there was a mindset or there was something you were telling yourself or there was an insecurity or there was you know some sort of belief some sort of belief within you cancer because it's, it's in you it's in your head it's in your mind we have a lot of air energy out here representing that this is internally in your thoughts and the thoughts that you're telling yourself and that kind of shit okay taking those baby steps you're becoming aware of some sort of cycle something that needs to be healed within you and when you become aware of that that's when it changes everything here with judgment coming out i like it wow and i love that the zebra came out because the zebra literally represents freedom freedom expression um even travel for some of you moving like literally moving your homes or thinking about moving or you know upsizing or downsizing depending on what it is that you're looking for but the zebra is all about moving and also helping out one another in the community and we are in aquarius season so that will be highlighted as well um so that's kind of the energy i'm seeing for this week ahead we'll definitely do a little bit of clarifying but nothing too crazy because these are just like your weekly messages so i don't want to spend too too much time on this but I, I will look into this nine of swords reverse and see like how are you freeing yourself from this um and maybe we'll take a look into the ace of swords okay all right so tell me about this nine of swords reverse for cancer summarizing venus for the week ahead i'm getting like chills right now but i think it's because i'm cold <laughs> I was like, oh my god, you guys, I'm getting chills. But I think I'm honestly kind of just cold. Ten of the nine of swords for Cancer, summarizing Venus for the week ahead. I heard May, April, May, so two months. Something maybe like, maybe that's relevant. Something by May, or you can expect to see like full results. Or like, maybe you're planning something in May. Maybe May is like part of this plan or part of this way out. Just because I'm clarifying this nine of swords the nine of swords backside right he sees a way out so maybe something about may is relevant for you regarding this tell me about the nine of swords um okay wow <sighs> the world i hope i don't have like lipstick on my chin <laughs> we had the world yeah okay <clears throat> tell me the nine of swords for cancer summarizing nice venus for the week ahead six of wands Hell yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Give me one more. Okay, and the lovers. Wow, you really stuck it out, Cancer. You really fucking did. Uh, you were consistent. You put in so much effort. You waited patiently, patiently. You waited first. Like, literally, this moved so slow. This was a fucking commitment, though. Um, but you showed up, and you showed that you were deserving. You are worthy of this, and finally you guys finally you can finally you get that success you reach that victory and um it's a celebration it's a fucking celebration so some of you could actually be celebrating so the wands can be a very celebratory energy um what else am i some of you another message a little bit of a different spin we can take this <laughs> lots of days we, but lots of ways we can interpret these cards so i'm just trying to cover all grounds because of course there's lots of messages lots of different people different scenarios i'm also seeing something about our karmic relationship or our soulmate relationship i feel like it's more karmic though right soulmate karmic karmic soulmate whatever the fuck significant relationship okay something about a significant relationship is coming to an end or there's a cycle that's repeat not no it's not repeating itself sorry what am i saying there's a cycle that's completing itself not repeating not repeating cancer i repeat it's completing the cycle is completing you and another individual that you could be involved with this could be a gemini or an air sign or we we have all the elements out here but we have gemini energy coming out strong as well as fixed energy I'm seeing you have found a way out of either like what have you found your found a way out of I'm seeing I don't know there's some sort of change in a commitment there's some sort of change in a partnership I'm not necessarily picking up on like something's coming to an end and it's like you're cutting this person off I'm kind of I just feel like there's some sort of change going on in a commitment in a partnership 
But it's positive though, because we have the Nine of Swords backside, so it's really good news. Or it feels like like a, a big sigh of relief, really. So I like to see that. So let's take a look into that Ace of Swords, see what clarity you got. There could also be some sort of news coming in, just because I'm looking at Judgment and then the Ace of Swords, and there's both, in both these cards, we have the Eagle flying through, and the Eagle represents change, communication, a divine message, a message from the universe, um, or something about, like, your higher purpose, or just, like, definitely something to do with change, and it's very quick, uh, it's very sudden. So yeah, let, let me take a look into the Ace of Swords for Cancer. You should be removing something from your life, for sure. Tell me about the Ace of Swords for Cancer. Summonizing Venus for the week ahead. Tell me the Ace of Swords for Cancer. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. And we have it again. The Eagle in the Eight of Swords. Backside and Strength. Leo Energy. Interesting. Let me get a couple more, though. Just, just so I know what the fuck we're, stopping, we're talking about. Ace of Swords for Cancer, Summonizing Venus for the week ahead. We got... Oh my god, these cards... I, mm, okay. <laughs> All right. Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. I kind of want to say... You could be coming into a windfall of money. Wind, wind, windfall? Is that the right word? Windfall of money? I don't know, y'all. Yeah, I think so. You're... I feel like... Something is... Sh oh my god, my... Do you hear my voice is going up, like, super high? Yo, what... Oh god, oh my god. <laughs> Me, like, catching myself, like, yo, what even is that voice? Oh my god. Hi, guys! Oh, it's Jade Stone here! Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, but there's movement towards, like, some sort of foundation in your life that will bring a lot of stability, a lot of, like, it's just... It feels... This is what you've been working towards. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what you've been praying for. Um, this is like, you're finally there. There was something blocking you. There was some sort of healing that needed to take place or there was something that you need to become aware of or a cycle. And then you became aware of it, cut that tie, or you jumped off that, that wheel that you were on, that little hamster wheel, and then boom, like the block is gone. You finally made it. It's very quick. It's so fucking quick. It's so sudden. Like, the fact that we have the eagle showing up three times. And I don't think you see it coming, Cancer. Look at this. Because in the Eight of Swords, right? Of course, she's blindfolded. She, she's got to have ultimate trust. What? I feel like some sort of help is coming. Help is coming your, help is coming your way. Strength. You're not going through this alone. You've been so fucking strong, Cancer. Like, wow. Your strength, it is just unbelievable. Change is coming this week. Claim it. But in order for the change... To okay, so let me make this very fucking clear, Cancer. Because I want this for you. I want this for all of you. You want this change... You have to make some sort of change in your life. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just you guys need to get up and just start moving around and fucking shaking your arms and shit or singing out loud. Like, literally, the challenge for you in order to experience this change, right? In order for this to come in, Cancer, you have to make some sort of change this week. You have to do something completely different. I don't know what, but it feels like when you make some sort of change to your energy or to your focus or to like when you jump out of your comfort zone like do something completely different this week or like go visit a place you've never been before go to a fucking store you've never been to before i don't fucking know <laughs> big or small change but do some sort of change make some sort of change change up your furniture move your fucking pillows i don't know move your sofa around rearrange something <gasps> Do it. I swear. I feel like that's what's going to create the change cancer. Oh my God. This is so exciting. I'm so excited for you. I hope you found this helpful and insightful cancer. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow me over on my other social media, I do have Instagram and TikTok, both at Jade Stone Tarot. You can find me over there and I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.